Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and this is another video in our series of megahertz by megahertz kind of revisited because we already did that in the past but we uh, will take a look at more of each megahertz and what there is to listen to. Uh, so the 27 to 28 megahertz portion of the spectrum, what is in there? Well, the first part from 27 to 27405 is the actual, what we call the CB band or the citizens band uh, in North America. And to some extent, depending on the countries where you live, uh, some countries have only 23 channels, others have different ranges, but the CB band is in there in the first part. Actually, the CB band starts at 29. Uh, 29. 26965, which is channel 1. 27405 is channel 40. And in between, there are some channels. So you see here, there's little signals that pop up here and there. These are probably CBers actually chatting along uh, on the different channels. So that is where the CB band lies. And in between the channels, there are a few frequencies where you actually have uh, things like remote controls, um, old computer PC mouse, um, also re, uh, anything that is remote control trucks, uh, remote control toys, they're all, uh, or radio controlled toys, uh, a, s a lot of them actually use those frequencies. Um, there are uh, five or six different frequencies available in the um, 11 meter band. It's sometimes referred to the 11 meter band, by the way. There's a lot of activity in there, and one of the uses of the uh, band is actually 27025. 27025 has something special. It is what we call the Super Bowl channel. It is a place where I go to from time to time because if sporadic e skip or if propagation allows to have signals bouncing off the ionosphere well you will have the ability to uh, see here that there are some CBers from you know hundreds or thousands of miles away well often that gives me an idea that the 10 meter band is open also at the same time so Super Bowl channel 27025 uh, another channel that's noteworthy for uh, checking out propagation is uh, 27385 lower sideband. If any stations are propagating, um, you know, sometimes AM might not be strong, but single sideband might actually propagate. That is a place to look at. Above 27405, what do you have in there? Well, above 27405, you have what a, a, a bunch of things. First of all, it's technically a utility band, and I was looking at um, old frequency lists and I don't know how many utility stations still use that part of the band but old frequency list that had a lot of uh, utilities of all sorts uh, you know from um, uh, all sorts of kind of you know military signals and uh, all sorts of unknown things but I've part you know personally never never heard anything in there that was utility what you'll hear most of the time when the band is open uh, from 27405 up to 28,000 is out of band um, CBers, if you wonder. They're, you know, they're, they're calling themselves 11 meter uh, guys. And they actually populate that part of the spectrum when propagation is there. They actually use that propagation and uh, communicate. And I've heard signals all over the world on these frequencies. A lot of Europeans, a lot of uh, U.S. signals here in Canada that I've heard. Uh, the main frequency that you might want to take note of in case of propagation is 27555, upper sideband. This is the out-of-band calling frequency. So usually stations will actually go on 27555, call CQ, and say, okay, I'll be listening on 27700. So that means once you hear that, if you want to communicate with that signal or if you want to continue and see if uh, other signals are actually or other stations are responding, well, you move on to that frequency that they mentioned. 
and listen there. Uh, really, this is purely for just calling CQ if you want. You'll be surprised at the number of amateur radio operators that actually are out of band. Uh, this is technically illegal because you should not be operating out of the CB band or amateur radio bands, but um, there's a lot of activity here. <coughs> All you need to know is when the uh, when the signals uh, are there, and one of the places you can check out, of course, is the Super Bowl channel 27025, or you can stay parked on 27555 and you never know what could be heard. Apart from that, all sorts of little weird signals and instruments can sometimes populate these frequency ranges, but that's the most uh, part that you'll have. One last thing, uh, things you'll hear here are in AM mode uh, on the CB channels. There's uh, AM mode on the out-of-band channels, and there's some single sideband on the out-of-band channels, and including the uh, CB channels themselves. But in Europe, one of the most used a lot is FM. So if you hear any FM stations or CBers, well, in Europe, a lot of stations use the FM mode to broadcast here. And a little trick here, if you don't have an FM capable receiver, just detune a couple of kilohertz and you'll be able to uh, basically uh, hear on AM mode whatever they're talking about even though it's a little distorted it's still gonna work so that was 27 to 28 megahertz what do you have in there if you enjoy our series and our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching our videos